Good day, everyone. Good day, Andrew and Natalie and Nathan and Mason and Lydia. Let's look at this picture here today. We're going to be studying lines, okay? What is a line? Let's look down here. Lines, 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 lots of different lines. You have your curved, your zigzag, solid, horizontal, diagonal, vertical. You've got long lines, thin lines, short lines. You've got a ton of lines going on right there. And so we're going to be looking at lines. And so let's go back up to this particular picture here. It is called 7 a.m. And that is because if you look at this clock right here, it is stuck at 7 a.m. And the person who was the artist is this fellow right here. And his name was Edward Hopper. See him? See him? Edward Hopper. I like his hat. All right, so here's Edward Hopper painted this picture at 7 o'clock. It's the morning. The shadows are pretty um, deep in, in that one. And we're looking at lines. And this one has a lot of lines. See all of the lines going down the sides of the doors, the sides of the windows, across. These are horizontal ones going across the back step there, across here. We've got horizontal lines going that way. So you got a lot, a lot, a lot of lines there. In here, you've got some diagonal lines going on in these uh, pictures that are in the window. And so there is just lines going everywhere. In the trees, you got lines that are going in different uh, curves. So we're looking at lines today. So that's on our word wall. If we remember the word wall, the first one was line. The second one was horizon. Horizon is that place, that line across the back. Our picture that we're looking at today doesn't necessarily have a horizon line that you can see, like if you're doing a um, something in the sea where you would see the horizon, but there is one, you just don't know where it is. Horizontal goes the same direction as the horizon. That helps us to understand the that and pick it out as far as which is the horizontal and which is the vertical. Vertical goes up and down just like in the picture. The um, pillars and the sides of the walls and all of that kind of stuff. So vertical is up and down and horizontal is going back and forth like the horizon. Now the next one, diagonal, diagonal is on an angle. There is that angle type in the diagonal. Oh, well, that makes no sense. But a diagonal line goes on an angle, goes back and forth on an angle. See that? And we don't want to forget what a warm color is because we're going to be looking at some colors today. Warm colors are your yellows, your reds, your blues, your purples. So we wanted to remember those things. And we're going to also remember we have made some... Uh, we have looked at shapes, we have looked at value, texture, form, and we're going to be adding a line to that circle here shortly. And there are our different pictures. So what is a line? A line is a continuous mark made on a surface with a moving point. So we've also discussed shapes. And what is a shape? A shape is when you have a line that crosses itself in di different um, dimensions, whether it is a star or a, um, a I, I think that's a pow sign. <laughs> I don't know what it is. These are organic shapes, like in a flower, or you have shapes uh, like squares and circles and all those kind of things. Then we have value, our nice hippopotamus for value, okay? And it's showing us the lights and the darks. See there, number four is the value, a range of lightness and darkness in our picture. And then form in the Statue of Liberty because we it has the three-dimensional parts. It goes all different directions. That's what form will do for us. And you, in art, you sometimes make things look like it goes in different directions. And then texture. Can you f almost feel that texture? Can you almost feel it? I, if you think about it, you can maybe feel what it looks like. So texture is a surface quality of an object. What does it feel?
feel like? What does it feel like? Where's my, pic my camera? What does it feel like? So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do this particular project where we're going to do lines. And so we're going to go over here and so we can do that project. Okay, you're back. All right, so like I said, we're going to do this project right here. Make a little one right there so that we can see it. What we're going to do is, because we love paint. Do you love paint? Oh, I love to paint. So we'll take some paint, whatever color you want. This particular one has black. I'm using blue. You can use red, orange, green, whatever color you want to use. All right, you don't need much. You can always get more. That's one of the things that I forget. Remember our brush. There's the bristle, the ferrule, and the handle. We don't want to touch the ferrule. That's the danger zone. Keep your fingers way, way, way back when you're painting. Then you won't get messy and you won't make any errors. So let's take our first one here. What shall we do? Let's do the complicated, easy one. Easy first, complicated first, easy first. So let's just do some lines. Okay, you may have to get your, um, go into your paint two or three times, that's okay. So we're just doing straight lines. These straight lines are horizontal. All right, that's cool, isn't it? Take another piece of paper. We cut these into small seg segments, maybe, oh, three inches by three inches, sort of. So now we're going to do some let's do some diagonal lines all right diagonal is going from one corner to another corner oops we got a little bit off on that one let's see what we can do here and we're going to go all the way to the end of that diagonal all right now let's make let's do some fun stuff shall we let's do some squiggly lines Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Oh, I like squiggly lines. You can't do them wrong. Just go back and forth. Okay? All right, there we go, the squiggly lines. All right, these are all drying over there. Okay, get another piece of paper. And now let's do a curved line. See, curved, it's just sort of making it look like a rainbow. The curved line does. And it doesn't have to be the same thickness all the way across. See, mine is thick on one side and thin on the other, and that's okay. That one there, it doesn't matter. And don't overdo it, just do it and finish. All right, so now we're going to do another one. Let's do, I'm trying to get, here we go. Let us do a, uh, what would you call this line? Looks like a heartbeat. But it's straight lines. But the straight lines, um, come to points. I don't know what you call it. All right, so now we'll take this one and we will do, we're gonna do one curvy line, just one. And we're gonna go in a circle. I don't know if you can do this or not. You might need somebody to help you, that's okay. You might be able to do it really well, I don't know. Sometimes you can see how I, stopped, came here and came back to it. It's still in line. I just happened to have coming back to it instead of going from it. But you can do either way. So there we go. All right, let's put this one down here and put this one in the middle like a bullseye. All right, here we go. Let's see here, we have Lines going this way. Let's have some lines going in the vertical way. All right. Horizontal was going side to side. Vertical is going up and down. Just 
what we're doing is we're making a collage of lines okay that's going to go right there but we're going to need to move things over a little bit i'm going to move that out of the way because we're running out of space now we are going to do how about yes let's let's do some horizontal and vertical lines on the same paper okay so i did four going that way and now I'm going to do four going this way. But you can start from the bottom and go up too. You don't have to start from the top and go down all the time. All right, there we go. Oh, let's put that one. No, let's put that one right up there. Okay, one more. What are we going to do with this one? Let's do little lines. We've done long ones that go all the way across the paper. Let's do little ones little a lot of times you call them dashes okay so i'm doing dashes that are horizontal okay horizontal dashes some of my dashes are thick some of my dashes are thin some have a little curve to it but we're trying to get them all going in the same direction definitely a thin one there all right there we go all done so now you say okay now what are we going to do well look, now we're going to have to put it and take it and glue it onto another piece of paper that would be our collage you say, well, i don't have a piece of paper that big well i didn't either so let me show you what i did let me see if i can reach it over here real quick and not knock everything over i got it right here so this is the one that I did last time, and it's all dry, so that's why I'm going to show this one to you. All right, I did pretty much the same kind of thing. My dashes, though, look at my dashes. I did dashes that were going on, a, on an angle. Very interesting. And then I did these in, um, they weren't just squiggly, but I, oh, they, they sort of circly. So my paper was not big enough. So I put two pieces of paper together and it still wasn't big enough. And so I just glued them on the edges. So if you make a square, whatever size you can, if you need to, your mom can help you to make one, try and make it big enough. Place one in the very center and then glue the other ones on around it. And then you will have a big enough piece. If you don't have a big enough piece at home, just giving you an idea. So anyway, there you have it, a collage of lines. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.